Hello, my divas. It's me, the Dollar Diva, here with the Dollar Diva Diaries. I think I messed that up, but oh well. Um, it is currently 1:10 in the morning, and I have to get up at 7 a.m. And I just realized that my February budget with me video, I never hit the record button. So you know what, guys? I am trying my little best here. I am really trying my little best. So let's go ahead and get into this cash stuffing um, video because I can't believe that I literally recorded about 40 minutes or thought I recorded about 40 minutes. I mean, like I was really going in y'all doing all types of math, all types of calculations, making new, you know, goals for myself, all types of stuff just for me to find out that I never hit the record button. I am a complete joke and it is what it is. But yeah, so anyways, um, let's see here. Just wanna make sure I'm emptying everything out. Oh, we got some change from Miss Piggy too, okay. All right, so while I clean this money up, I figured I would tell y'all a funny story time <laughs> about my DC trip. So if you watched last week's um, cash stuffing video, I basically was telling you guys how I was going to DC for um, a friend's birthday who I hadn't seen in years. And, um, and I, her family will just her one of her brothers but her brother was there and I just anticipated it to be um what it was which was a hot mess um so <laughs> basically I get to okay so I had reached out um prior to going out there at to ask her if I could stay at her place right because the last time I saw her, she had a house in Charlotte. And so I stayed at her house in Charlotte with her for a week. So when I found out that she was moved up here and she's been up here for like, apparently like a year, which I had no idea. I assumed she had her own place. So me living in Harrisburg, her being in DC, that's about a two and a half hour difference. I asked her if I could stay at her house. So that's when she let me know that she lives with her brother. And so she said she would, well, I'm sorry. She didn't, at first she didn't tell me she lived with her brother. At first her response was that she um, would get back to me on the bed situation. And so I was like, oh girl, I don't need a bed. Like I can sleep on the couch. <laughs> I just need somewhere to rest my head. And so she was like, oh, well, you know, I stay with my brother now and blah, 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 something, something, something. And then she mentioned something about his, um, his, uh, what was it? His, um basement flooding so I was like oh okay understood so um I have like aunts that are in the area but I knew that for her birthday dinner she wanted to be out late because the dinner didn't start till 9 p.m and then the place that we went to turned into like a nighttime like lounge slash almost club type situation and she wanted to stay for that so I wasn't trying to pull up at my auntie's houses who were in their 60s and 70s at like two, three o'clock in the morning, um, after a night out. So long story short, I decided, um, I hadn't heard back from her. Right. So this is like, she invited me less than two weeks before the party. So I feel like it was like a week before hadn't heard anything back from her. So the night before I just went ahead and booked the last minute hotel. Um, which at this time of the year, you can get away with getting a cheap hotel last minute because it's cold outside, so nobody's booking hotels, so it's actually cheaper to wait to the last minute to get them. So I booked a hotel. Um, actually, I booked it the day of. That's <laughs> now that I think about it, I booked it. I I decided I was going to book a hotel the night before, but I didn't actually book it to the day of, which worked out because the hotel that I booked was like $75 cheaper when I booked it the day of, which was amazing. But yeah, so as I'm like getting ready and all that type of stuff, I also had to get a car rental because you guys know I don't have a car. 
So, um, so I had to get a car rental, book the hotel. And then I was just lally gagging around. I don't know what I was doing y'all. Like I was on the phone with my best friend, picking out my outfits and stuff. And then time was just passing by. Next thing I know it's late, like real late. I'm having hair issues. I'm having all types of problems. I did not anticipate. So I reached out to, um, my friend who's, you know, whose birthday it was and basically let her know, like, I'm probably going to be super late because, uh, based off, because also there was a lot of traffic, which was crazy because this is at night, but it was like crazy traffic. I guess it must've been some accidents or something between Harrisburg and DC. So at the time that I left, I should have been getting to the hotel at like seven, seven thirty um, on a normal, you know, Friday that day, it said I wasn't going to get there until like eight 30 and the dinner starts at nine. Now, granted, I did get a hotel that was only two or three blocks away from the restaurant, but I still had to get dressed. Cause like I said, everything was going wrong at the house. And so I had to like go to the hair store and all this type of stuff. So I needed to get dressed. So she was like, Oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Can't wait to see you. You know, we'll still party. Da, 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 da. Cool. And, um, and then um, I was like, okay, I'll let you know when I get there. So long story short, because of everything that happened, I didn't actually get to the hotel until like 9.15. So I had let her know that um, that I hadn't gotten to the hotel yet um, and all this type of stuff. And I guess she didn't even realize I was getting a hotel. So at like 9.30, I get a random... Um, <laughs> Uh, Apple Pay and she had sent me like fifty dollars towards the hotel or whatever and was basically explaining like um I don't know if she like forgot that um she was supposed to get back to me about staying with them or whatever but she just appreciated me coming out there and so I was like oh girl you didn't have to do that but she wouldn't take the money back so it's like thank you put that towards the hotel um but anyway so I get to the hotel I get dressed and when I tell y'all my hair situation was just not giving what it was supposed to give. I had to redo my hair like four or five times. I did not get to the lounge where the dinner was until almost 11 p.m. that night. <laughs> Insanity. Keep in mind, I haven't eaten all day. I'm kind of fresh off of my water fast, so my stomach is pretty small. Having drank since last year at this point and I pull up empty stomach but I looked good though um I think I have a clip of me dancing that I put in there I definitely was looking good once I got myself together it just took a while for us to get there um but anyway I get there she's super excited to see me um there the kitchen had closed early because normally the place their kitchen done close to 1 a.m that day they decided to close at 10 30 which I'm just like of course of course they would on the day I come um so I basically was eating like little leftover appetizers they had so they had like a few calamari left and then she had like one lamb chop left so she gave that to me which I really appreciated but that's all I ate guys so we're partying, we're dancing, we're having a good time. I go up to get her like um, a glass of champagne and a shot of like her favorite liquor. And I decide y'all to drink. Now keep in mind too, I forgot to mention when I was in the hotel room getting dressed, I drank one glass of champagne, right? When we got to the, uh, the lounge, I had a second glass of champagne and then I took one shot of the um, tequila I got her for her birthday. Like I got one for me and one for her. When I tell y'all, I was so gone. Like I don't understand how my tolerance dropped that low. Two glasses of champagne and a shot of tequila and I was drunk like embarrassing sight I had the time of my life though um but it was just like how did I get this intoxicated off of that and it wasn't even like it was back to back like these were like far apart from each other but anyway fast forward so we go to um 
So long story short, we um we end up leaving from there and she had like a personal driver for the night and so the driver took us to her brother's house. This is the same brother whose basement allegedly flooded, right? So we get to her brother's house and um his house looks really nice. I had never been to his house before. Oh, something I forgot to mention too. Her brother, Lord Jesus, I don't know what century or or decade or whatever he thinks we are in right now, but the outfit and hair situation he had going on that night, Jesus Christ. I Lord forgive me. I I don't know what that man was going for, but he missed. He definitely missed. He looked like a 70s mixed with a 80s, but with like 90s attire. Like it just, it was a lot going on, but none of it was given 2024. I can tell you that none of it was given anything in the last two decades. Um, So bless his little heart. I'm sure he did his little best, but he is too young. Cause that's another thing. Her, I am 31 years old. She just turned 31. Her brother is 33 years old. He is not that old to be like that disconnected from like, I just, it's just, no, 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 sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. And then he had these like nasty, long, unclean like plaits in his head just come to it just was a sight to see and I hadn't seen him in so many years and it was just so I didn't recognize him I really didn't I had no idea who that man was when he came up to me I was concerned at first and then I realized who it was and he says to me oh you you look like a celebrity compared to you i do i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you compared to what you got going on in this in this situation that we're in i do probably look like a celebrity so i'll take that as a compliment but anyway so um and i mean i'm just cracking jokes like i definitely we just joke like this like this is how we talk to each other we banter back and forth it is what it is i hope you're not too sensitive to handle it um, but anyway, so we get to his house, go up, uh, well, not upstairs, but like, I don't know how to explain it, but we had to like go up the steps to get to like the kitchen living room situation. So I plopped down on a chair and that's the last thing I remember. And then I woke up and it was five 30 in the morning. So from what they told me, I won ordered food and Tylenol. I have no recollection of this at all, but I checked my phone and I saw that I made a DoorDash order for (laughs) and pizza and for Tylenol from CBS. Oh, that's what that CBS thing was. In the video for my my, uh, expense tracker, I was like, what was the CBS order? That's what that was. And I just remembered that's what that third pizza was that I couldn't figure out either. Okay, it all makes sense now. Um, But anyway, so I get um, an Uber to go back to the hotel. But before I leave, her brother wakes up. He's making sure I'm cool. And he was like, oh, dang. He said, you got a hotel? You should have just stayed here. And I was thinking to myself... Yeah, that would have definitely been nice seeing as though you have plenty of space. Your house is very roomy, um, very clean, but you had a flooded basement and I'm still trying to figure out where the basement is because I got a tour of the house. But then again, maybe they just didn't show us that. Maybe they just didn't show us that part. I don't know. I just felt like if she didn't want me to stay there, She could have just said, you know, no or whatever, but maybe she was just trying to be nice because none of the excuses she was giving me were adding up once I got to his house. Anyway, get an Uber, go back to my hotel, get to my hotel at 6 a.m. The doorman laughed in my face so hard, y'all. I mean, it, it was hysterical. He laughed directly in my face. And um, and it was understandable. I understood why. I understood why. Um, so he ends up extending my um, checkout time to 
I think it was like 2.30 or 3 o'clock without, um, at no additional charge. Because he was like, you're going to need every hour you can get. And I was like, you know what? I really appreciate that. Thank you. So I go up and I go to sleep. Now, keep in mind, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'm going to input the time that the cash stuffing starts. I just got to get this story out. But anyway, so, um, so... I I still wake up early because I'm supposed to be going on a date, right? So I had been talking to this guy on the hinge and he didn't live far from the area. And so since I was in town and um, I was going in uh, last minute when I decided to get a hotel, I, um, well, actually it was a few days before I decided to get the hotel because I was like, if I don't get the hotel, I'm just going to stay at my aunt's house. But anyway, I had um, reached out to him to let him know I was going to be in town. So he asked if he could take me out for brunch. I was like, okay, cool. But something in my intuition kept telling me that he was going to cancel on me. I don't know what it was, but something kept telling me. And then it really started getting louder when I realized that like, he never um, said like exactly where he wanted to go or what time he was going to pick me up. Um, and all that type of stuff. It was kind of like he was making it at first. He was like on it. And then it kind of like, as a, as it got closer, it just seemed like he was like, Oh, I'm going to follow up with you. Oh, I'm going to, you know, send you the details in the morning. Oh, da, 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 da. And so I was just like, I don't know. Something just told me he was going to cancel. So nine o'clock that morning, he sends me a message to let me know that apparently, um, his family is moving his aunt out of her house and it's going, it's, it's taking longer than he anticipated. So he won't be able to take me to brunch. This is at nine o'clock in the morning. How early were you moving your aunt out of her house? Please let me know on a Saturday morning. Listen, I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not moving nobody, including myself out at nobody's nine o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. Absolutely not what but hey you know maybe it's truth i don't know i'm never going to find out because i deleted his number immediately after that um i mean i was nice about it like i was like oh okay thanks thanks for letting me know and then he said something about um wanting to um rain check or reschedule or something like that if i couldn't be there the next day and i basically was like okay yeah just keep me posted and um yeah he has not really said much to me since so I deleted his number because I was just like I don't think he was serious but anyway um now keep in mind that I was planning to go to brunch today so I had a second outfit um I was already like getting dressed like and I looked in the mirror and I said I look way too good to just not be seen and go outside. So I'm still going to go to brunch. So I made reservations at this place that somebody else had recommended to me a while ago. And I went to brunch by myself. And, um, (laughs) so when I, when I go to brunch, I order an Uber. When I get in the Uber, y'all, first of all, rewind back something I should have mentioned earlier I took five Ubers while I was in DC only one of them didn't stink I don't know what it is I don't know what's going on in Washington DC with these Uber drivers but out of the five Ubers I took only one did not stink this one stunk the worst so I get in it stinks And then on top of that, my Uber driver is blasting opera music. Opera, you heard me correctly. That man is blasting opera music in the middle of downtown Washington, D.C. at brunch hours. What is going on right now? So I'm very confused, but, you know, I just sit there in the back and I don't say nothing. So we pull up to the location, right? So... Basically, let me just show y'all what I mean. So let's say this stack of money is the location. This is a two lane street. So we're the location is on this side. We're on the opposite side on the other side of the street. 
And keep in mind, I have a dress on that is form fitted all the way down to my ankles and I have high heels on. So to all my ladies out there listening, you know what that means. That means you cannot extend your legs and you can barely walk. You're taking little baby steps like this because you cannot hardly walk in that type of outfit, especially with those type of heels on. So I kindly asked the Uber driver, excuse me, do you mind dropping me off in front of the location um, because um, I'm going to have trouble walking? He says, no. I'm shocked because I have never had an Uber driver tell me, no, he cannot drop me off of, I mean, drop me off in front of the location that I am paying him to drop me off in front of. What is happening right now? But anyway, so fast forward and um, he then asked me to get out of his car because I asked again. I was like, I'm sorry. um, I'm not sure if you you heard me. You know, I just I was just asking if you could just drop me off in front of the location. Um, That's the address that it is. And he basically was like, no, he's not moving his car and asked me to get out. So I try to get out. I'm getting out the car. Some man is trying to like holla at me and get my number as I'm getting out the car. And I'm so flabbergasted because sir, you can clearly see that I'm struggling. And instead of offering to help me because I very clearly need help because I'm in the middle of a busy street, the Uber driver didn't even have the decency enough to drop me off at a crosswalk or at a light. So we are in the middle of the street. There is a two... The, is cars this way in this way right so we're two lanes busy street opposite directions cars everywhere i'm trying my best to get from this side to this side making little baby steps like this as quickly as i can because i can't go any faster why are you asking me for my number sir help me but yeah anyway um get to the location i had made my reservation online So when I get there, I tell them my reservation is for blank time. And I had arrived at the exact time that the reservation was. So they let me know they just need to clear my table. It will take 15 minutes. So I pull my camera out. I'm taking videos. I'm taking pictures of the, you know, the location, blah, 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 blah. I sit down. I start to notice that people who came in after me are being seated. I look at my clock. Sorry, there's no watch. But I look at my watch and I say, notice It's been 45 minutes. I've been there for 45 minutes. It was supposed to take 15. So, you know me, I go up and I ask, do, 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 excuse me. Um, you said it was going to take 15 minutes. It has been 45. What is happening? And that's when they let me know. They screwed up, I guess. Um, well, they didn't let me know that, but I could just tell by the girl acting out frantically and calling her manager somebody screwed something up so then they proceed to ask me where's the rest of your party and I was like oh well I am by myself and please keep in mind too I didn't mention this earlier I told them when I came in that it was only me I was a reservation of one so You can imagine my shock and surprise when they look me in my face after I tell them it's only me and tell me that they don't do table reservations for one person. So I was sitting around for 45 minutes for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Insanity. So I asked, where can I sit? They said the bar. Now, the issue with this is the entire 45 minutes I was there, there were seats available. When I find this information out, the bar is full, not one seat in sight. So now I'm highly upset and I'm ready to go. The manager, she's just like, you know, trying to help because I guess she feels bad. Da, da, da. So she sees a couple is leaving the bar and um, she asked them to scoot over so that I can sit. So um, the husband, he was standing, so she asked him to scooch over a little bit more so I could sit down, so he scooches over. I sit down. The manager um, apologizes. She leaves. When the manager leaves, 
this man looks at me in my face and says, so you just going to take my seat like that? Excuse me, sir. What is happening right now? What do you mean? I didn't take your seat. The manager took your seat. You saw what happened. You looked and you listened and you watched and you are now coming at me. So at first I thought he was joking, but he kept going. And I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm not entertaining this. I'm hungry. I don't have time. I haven't eaten today. I Somebody canceled a date on me. I didn't even plan to pay for this today. And so now you just, no, 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 no. I had to run. I, I don't have time for this. So, um, so yeah, so he basically is like, well, yeah, I don't appreciate you still in my seat, da, 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 all this stuff. So the girl he's with, she's just like, why are you tripping? We're about to leave. And so they leave. She like apologizes. Cool. I get my food. Food is phenomenal. It's amazing. That was the best part of that experience was the food. Um, then they were playing like some real good music. So I was singing along, having my little solo karaoke at the bar with the bartenders. We had a great time, y'all. And so then I look over my right shoulder and guess who's back? The couple who was just there. However, this time when they come back, the man is now flirting with me in front of his girl when she's sitting directly next to me. So I'm sitting here, these are two chairs. I'm here, she's here. He's standing in between us, flirting with me. I am lost and confused. And then I had an aha moment and was like, oh, I think they're trying to bring me into their relationship. Yep, nope, don't want none of this. So. Yeah, it was a mess. Um, I'll have to give you all part two because it was a lot going on. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this cash stuffing because I think I took up way too much time. Um, <laughs> so yeah, before we get started, um, as of the time of this recording, nobody has guessed in the last video of the price, but I mean of how much I had in the last video. So if somebody does, I'll go ahead and put in their information now. But for now, let's go ahead and you can take a guess at how much is here. All right. And then whoever guesses the closest will get a shout out in the next video. So, you know me, I'm going to break it up by denominations. Eight hundred, two hundred. I think that was two eighty. Let me double check twenty, forty, sixty, eighty one. 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh, I'm sorry, 180. I said 280. That's 50. 25. All right, I got too many ones this week. Okay, I counted 19, but let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, okay. All right, so the total is 1,274. So whoever gets the closest will get a shout out next week. So 
Let's start with our budgeting binder. Okay, so medical, um, we're going to add 37, 20, 35, 6, and 7. Because I just bought my medicine. I also think I took some money out of here, but I can't remember. So we'll see at the end, child. I don't know what's going on. So with the debt, um, the game plan is a little bit different. So basically the total for the debt this month was 2,632. And then we divide that by four. So that gets us to 658 a week. So we're going to be doing 658. So that's 650, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. So that's 658 going into debt. And then birthdays. I feel like I need to pay myself back for this too. Hold on. 50, yeah, cause this is supposed to have 200. So 150, 200. And then I need to add some more to it too. So 51, 50, 200. I'm gonna just do 50 for now. 51, 52, 50, okay. Um, okay, emergency funds, fun. Oh, I forgot to do my uh, Christmas card with the 750, y'all. I promise next week I will do that so that I can do January's and then at the end actually by the end of the month I'll have it so that way I can do January and February's for this so yeah all right so that is want to wrap up that for now um and then oh my goodness the bridesmaids binder I can't believe like Ashley's going to be married in April and it is February I'm going to be a bridesmaid in my best friend's wedding in April. What is life? Like, oh my God. Oh, that's right. I wanted to show you guys invitations. So before I show you the invitations, I'm going to show you the save the dates. So they sent the save the dates um, like a year ago and they're so pretty. So you take this off and then it opens up like this isn't that so cute with oh let me hide the city and state but um well actually the location isn't on there but yeah so this is the invitation and then i mean the save the date and then the invitation has like this kind of matching like the save the date i love it it's so coordinated and then you open it, and I'm not going to open it fully because there's too much information in here. But it's, like, so cute, like, the little um, envelope. I mean, yeah, this part, it has the lace. It's just so beautiful. They did such a great job. But, yes, I can't believe my best friend is getting married. Like, this is insane. Um, <laughs> And so... So we, I definitely have to pay myself back in here because I took out money out of, I forget which ones, but I took some 20s out of some of these. So let me see. How much is in here? 51. Okay. I don't know if I took, I don't think I took any out of hotel. 
So hotel is supposed to get 22. So 20, one and two. I know I took some out of beauty. Um, I just can't remember how much, but I think I took all the 20s I had out of beauty. Um, yeah, because there's no 20s in here. So, I believe I took 40 out. And then, so I'm going to put 40 in here. And then this week is 14, so... 14, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, so when I took the money out, it was because I was going to a networking event and I wasn't sure if I was going to need to like buy anything while I was at the event um, and stuff like that. So I wanted to make sure I had like $80 on me, but I, I didn't have that in cash and I really wanted to stop using my credit card because I realized that I was like, acting out um so i took it out of here but then i only ended up spending ten dollars so <laughs> so um yeah so this one i took out um i think i took a 20 out of here yeah something like that and then it's supposed to be 120 so I'm actually going to just do the 120. 120. I might have took two 20s out of here, but I can't remember right now. Okay, so I'm going to put that back for now and then we'll go back oh into our cash wallet so lottery seven dollars my dad loves when i like take him to uh with me so that i can go play this every week um so i'm definitely gonna keep doing it well, after his radiation Appointments we go every day, so it's fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Exactly eight dollars. So the extra dollar is for they have like a weekly lottery, but you can't bet more than a dollar. And then for the daily, you can only bet a dollar. So, so that's gonna be eight dollars in here. Um, and then let me start. Oh, gas is going to get 50. What the heck? Um, groceries, we said nothing. Fun money. So I'm going to... Wait, how much money do I have left first before I start? 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200, 205. Okay. Okay. And actually, I was supposed to put um, 100. Hold on, let me actually switch that out and birthday not 50 so let me take 50 out and put 100 in there we go um okay so fun money so tomorrow is the champagne stroll so that's the first galentine's day event um and I'm doing brunch with um, one of my friends before we start the stroll. So I'm going to put 50 in eating out. There we go. And then for tips, I'm going to do, what's 20% of 50? 
I can't do math right now. Like, that's sad. I used to be a server. I should know that off the top of my head. And I just... 20%. It's 10. All right. So, I'm going to do 10. And then... Um... I'm going to do 15, actually, because we're going to be, like, going around to different places. So, actually, I'm going to do 20. I'm sorry, because we're going to be going around to a lot of places. So, I'm probably going to be tipping a lot. Um, so, I'll do 20 just in case. Boom. Nope. Nope. Eating out. Nope. Household. Nope. Lottery. Nope. Um, oh, fun money, um, fun money. I'm going to add a 20 and a 10. Okay. So that should be all good to go. And then I think I'm actually going to, cause I, something is telling me that I took two twenties out of here and not one so i'm going to add another 20 in here for bachelorette and then i have 15 dollars left and i feel like i took something out of here um but i honestly don't remember So I'm just going to, let's see, I'm just going to add this into my eating out budget. Let's see, eating out, I'm just going to add this here. So that's 20, 30, 35. I'll put 20 and then and then for fun money, I'll add the 15. Okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Galentine's Day. Hold on now. Because I have an event coming up. You know what? I'll figure that out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to figure that out. Um... I don't have the time or energy to do that right now because I it is two o'clock in the morning and I have to wake up at 7 a.m. So I'm going to go to sleep. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I love, 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 love showing up every week for this. Um, I'm really getting back into my consistency bag. I'm probably going to have to re-record that budgeting video. I just have to figure out how because I already recorded it. But we'll figure it out. But, yeah, stay tuned. Um, next week should. Um, but, yeah, stay tuned. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Have a great week. And until next time, deuces.